There we go. We're all focused in. Hello! Thank you for joining us for... Age of Ultron. Avengers! Woo woo woo! Go see the movie, damn it! Yeah, go see it's it. It's really good. This is exactly the kind of movie you want to go see in theaters. It's big, it's blasty. Be prepared, if you're like me and a big comic fan, be prepared to be a little angry at certain parts. Still a good movie. Shut yeah. up and go see it. I, you know what? At this point, I am fine with them changing com comic continuity. If it makes sense, because we already have the comics. I don't want to just see the comics brought to life on the big screen. Right. Yeah, I, I agree, but there are things that they did changing comic continuity that didn't make sense. I thought. Eh. But I don't think that it was to the detriment of the movie. I think that okay, it was Okay, so, the um... I... Do we... Yeah, we're just going to throw up a spoiler tab because... You can't talk about this movie and With not the... talk about yeah. spoilers. So we're just... Recommendation, go spend $10 to see this. It's <laughs> worth it. You know, if I could see in 3D, I can't see in the 3D glasses they yeah. give me, but I would probably put down the 14 and see this one in 3D. But 3D movies always disappoint me, just Do in general. Think? Yeah, because it's never like... It doesn't pop out at me oh. enough. Well, I, I wouldn't do it for me okay. like I don't know, especially with this movie. Like, okay, I would uh, it wasn't immediately. Like, it wasn't out. filmed as far in... as three D goes. We're all split. Well, I've never seen a three D movie in my life good, because it? I can't see three D movies. So I say you should see everything in three D. Are those peaches? Yes. Yeah. May I have one, please? Ooh, thank you. Yummy. So, like an after midnight snack. Um, Let's talk James, about the sword in the stone moment with Thor's third, third, <laughs> third best villain of Marvel. Number one is Loki. Number two is the Kingpin from Daredevil. Hey. You really need I don't to see know, but No, trust me. So... The Kingpin from Daredevil is like... James Gandolfini, I think it was, who plays him. God damn. You're not talking about the film, are you? No, I'm talking about the, the, TV the Netflix, series Netflix series. Oh, okay, yeah. Because I haven't seen that. But the <laughs> Neither King King I, the trust film was... Me. Particularly interesting. No, Michael Clark, Doug Michael Clark Douglas or... Duncan. I mean, Michael Clark Doug he did a really that good Kingpin, was... but that film was no. In That's the, the <laughs> director and the writer's fault. They the Kingpin in now. Netflix, the the series is excellent, and um, James Spader mm -hmm. as Ultron really brings a lot of character to what is essentially just robot is created to protect humanity and decides... Um, there it is. Okay, finally, that was haunting me the entire movie. And then decides that humanity... <laughs> the guy who voiced Ultron was also the voice of Optimus Prime. That's where I knew that voice from. I guess it's Thank more... You, brain. I guess it's more along the lines of, oh, it's designed to protect humans, and then, oh, humans are evil, kill them. No, it's like, I need to protect humans. Well, Earth is gonna get hit with, like, a meteor at some point, so I better force humanity to evolve and be better. He was Which, a teenager. But he doesn't really... <sighs> Well, I he doesn't really today. evolve it. It just <laughs> eventually the, his plan just becomes. You know what? Fuck it. I'm killing everything. <laughs> he like so can't. basically my plan. <laughs> but it is. But it's not like oh his programming it's went like wonky every game I've ever played. and he changed. And it's not like his programming went nuts. His original plan was to evolve humanity, and the Avengers stopped him from doing that because it wasn't a good plan. And he threw a hissy fit and decided he would just destroy the world. And it's not very often that you see an AI robot throw a hissy fit. He's a 15-year-old who got told that you can't have the power for the weekend through a hissy fit. Only this 15-year-old has access to the entire bombs. internet. Like. Yeah. That and vibranium bombs. Um, I think it was more like he used the vibranium as like, well, whatever. I thought he said it, it there was vibranium like a bomb, in the was... drill. The vibranium the made the drill possible. They... they Kind of a throwaway line about vibranium being really useful for things other than exploding. Mm -hmm. No, making a shield. No, it was, me. That it was, was a lot. the body, <laughs> and then the drill with vibranium. Because he stole what twenty vials of the stuff. Quite a bit of vibranium. Now? Yeah, still enough to float an entire island. Yeah. Well, well, no, it wasn't. Just it wasn't an island until like... he ripped it out of the earth. <laughs> Does Wakanda have any vibranium left? Probably not anymore. <laughs> but I'm sure Marvel's gonna be like, oh crap, we need that. Bring it back. That's where Andy I really play, right? I really, really wanted to like Elizabeth Olsen in this movie, and I feel like I would have if they hadn't forced her to put on that really 
Yeah, accent. Russian accent. Oh my god, the that accent was, was so like thick, it was but like it wasn't Czech. good. It was just like I need to be And like her facial expressions Where were they saying they were from? Something that began with an S. Sarkova. So or... it's a fake country. It's supposed yeah, okay. to be Ma Czechoslovakia, only there was Magneto's version. from Poland. Mm -hmm. His kids, not, but I don't remember where they're but his from. Kids but were, not in the they're not area. his kids in this movie. They can't yeah. be because they're forbidden to say the word mutant. That's. I think him. they said enhanced. Yeah, they kept they saying enhanced. enhanced. It was so weird. Like, you know, if Marvel really wants to, it's going to cost them a lot of money. They can take X Men back if they want to. Uh, no. See, the thing, See, they can get Spider-Man because Sony has not been able to make any money with the Spider-Man. Well, and also Sony Japan. signed a deal with them so that they would share custody Yeah, but my, so, like, they got, they got <laughs> Spider-Man because Sony couldn't figure out a way of making money off Spider-Man. Well, also Japan but, Which is Sony so America, dumb. You can't I know. Spider-Man is a really, like, memorable But Fox character. has figured out a way of making money off the X-Men franchise and earned no reason. However, no reason to give it back. Marvel has definitely had it taken and in some of the like new X-Men movies. You know in the beginning where it'll do that like They have they have thing. to do that because they have if to give credit to the people. If they don't put the Marvel credits up them. there, Marvel will sue the hell out of them and take their franchise back by force. They have to because they're the original mm -hmm. comic films, blah blah blah. Yeah, but Marvel mm -hmm. films through Disney are not permitted to even say the word mutant. Which doesn't really mean contract sense, law mutant isn't actually Contract <laughs> laws because mutants are X Men in that universe. Yay! It's the same reason that if you were to use the word droid in any form of advertising, you basically owe, owe George Lucas Sorry. money. Did not Careful mean with that. to hit my engines. Sorry, and it's guys. also the same reason if you say you're fired on any oh, program, um, you own Donald Trump. Money. I, I have to say, even though this movie was not quite as much fun as the first Avengers. Like, the first Avengers was basically just a big party celebrating, yay, we made the Avengers, isn't this yeah. awesome? This one, though, was much more of a story with characters and stakes, so I cared mm -hmm. more. So I liked this one better than Avengers Don't one. worry, everyone is, Tony everybody Stark. in the movie is still a colossal please, please, asshole. Please, please, Actually, please, that was one oh, thing. <laughs> <laughs> please, Mr. Secretary, that was a good line. That was one thing I w that was kind of bugging me. Over time, I didn't feel like Captain America was written particularly Really well in this one. Like, His best line was the language. Yeah. You mean Lily? Oh the first God. thing he said in the movie. Yeah. I, yeah. I just, <laughs> he was a little too snarky. He was a little too yeah. jokey. I, it didn't feel like Captain America. And then he got way too serious uh, when he was doing the evacuation. Yeah. And the writers didn't quite well, maybe know how to. Maybe it's because the entire city was about to die. Yeah, but yeah, I don't I think mean, the writers wrote really him as serious and, you know, like they did in the second Captain America. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. It. It was a different creative team on Captain America 2, which is yeah. still one of the... I th I still think the best one. I agree. It was great. The entire Winter Soldier Elevator movie. scene in that movie was the best part ever. One thing I will <laughs> say about Captain America that I... Oh, thank you. That I loved was the Thor's Hammer, which reads mm. like a fan fiction a lot of people are writing. Captain America can lift the hammer. It's... In canon, he becomes Thor for some time. Well, I yeah, do very much he dig that in the comic universe right now, female Thor is a thing. I, mm -hmm. Like, the guy, like, Chris Hemsworth's yeah, actually, character. Actually, speaking of all that, I've been doing some thinking. Whoever that model is, they're getting to play Wonder Woman. They should get that um, female warrior who fights alongside Thor. She would be a much better choice. I yeah, think. there you go. The woman who plays Sif? Yeah. That's her name. Thank you, yeah. See, she's already Oh, guess that. what yesterday, well, technically two days ago was, but guess what two days ago was? No. Free Comic Day. Oh, what? Yeah, Free Comic Day. It's like and a you're telling me this now. I didn't find out until like 12 o'clock into the day, and then I had to go to work, and then I get to work, and I'm like, all right, I'll just swing by the comic shop at six uh, during my lunch break, and the comic shop closes early on Saturday. Uh, I all missed of you, it. All we all missed it. Squeamish stomachs. Cover your eyes. No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. <laughs> and, and yeah, uh, the Pennyworth one, the one by Mom's Donuts, they totally were participating. I uh, missed it. Uh, well, now um, I know for next year. Yeah. But I did like that they showed that Chris Evans could move the hammer, even if he couldn't lift it yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he moved the, it. Yeah. The look on Thor's face was like, uh... And uh, then uh. Thor hit it because <laughs> nobody realized he could do it. I don't even know if Captain America... Do you think he realized I don't he think he did? noticed. I didn't think no, he noticed. I don't think he noticed. 
I did. I, I very much also appreciated that there was a lot of nods to other characters in this movie. Like, they bring back War Machine, Hawk. Yeah. Is that his name? Mm. From Falcon. Captain America. Falcon. 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 Um, Who, they by br- the way, is awesome. I adore. They brought back a bunch of the female, like, tech supporting characters. And there was one character who must be from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. because they acted like she was this established character and a big deal. The and Asian I was. Doctor lady? Yeah, the yeah. Asian lady. I'm no, like, the who the lady. fuck are you? <laughs> I gave up on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay, one thing I'm curious it was about. really just hard for me to follow uh-huh. after a while. Never I was bothered. like, I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> Patience. Question to anyone watching, please answer this. And. There probably isn't an official answer. Do Hawkeye and Widow know Coulson's alive yet? Because when he I walked in the door, like I thought... Do. Well, when he walked in the door, I thought it's Coulson's home and the hey, honey, I'm home is a joke. It's a code word to say, hey, we're all here and we're <laughs> safe. I thought for sure... No, it they was t- sound totally like that, turns though. out that Hawkeye has, like, a wife and two a kids. A normal wife! It's what? Like, why not, like, this normal wife... You and know, he is a soldier with the most annoyingly farm. anachronistic weapon. And they kind of made a, like, a line to that. He's like, look, I'm on a floating island fighting a robot god, and I've got a bow and arrow. None of this makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have time to babysit. If he wasn't wrong. <laughs> no. No, he got her to kind of suck it up. So, yeah, this is up. the first movie I've gave a shit about Hawkeye. I liked him. Honestly, I well, think they did the all that just because he really didn't have up. screen time in the last movie. You know, I think it the helped. The only other screen time he had was when he was possessed. By yeah, the, that's the exactly theater. it. He mm-hmm. wasn't allowed to really be much of a character in Avengers 1 because most of the time he's being mind controlled. And in the comics, he's really snooky and really sarcastic. Yeah, and, and that really, really that, came, that came through a lot better in this movie. You mean now that we've actually gotten to see him for more than two minutes? And um, uh, for all those uh, shippers out there, um, Hulk and Black Widow is officially a thing. Like, well, technically in movie. Bruce Banner technically and Black Banner, Widow. but yeah. It's implied that Hulk cares about her too because he does calm he down around her. Yeah, he never ever hurts her or anything like that. Okay, to be fair, she, she absolutely should have died when she was like riding on his back, uh, but whatever. That was but this is that a freaking movie. That could have been an accident. <laughs> No, every, going by that logic, everybody in that movie is dead. Every one. So, uh, Ultron is really just, uh, he's a very fun, snarky bad guy. Like, I think when, like, he's escaping on a jet, and then Hulk jumps on the jet, and he says, oh, come on, and then gets flung out the jet. <laughs> no, Hulk jumps in from the loading ramp. Ultron's like, really? And then Hulk just grabs him out of the pilot seat, Fling. throws him out really, the back of the really jet. A that lot. is how you hijack you something. You did just hurt my girlfriend. A lot Come. better action scenes in this one than the first adventure. Because he did just hurt the Black Widow, and that was just this a... You did just does have really good potential for 3D. Yeah, it was really much, it was much better action scenes than the first Avengers. first Avengers had kind of flat action scenes. Mm-hmm. This one's got a lot more creative. Mm-hmm. Like, they, that train one... Was pretty yes. good, yeah. One action scene I didn't like was you know, whenever Cap and Iron Man go at it physically, they're mm-hmm. two pretty evenly matched, believe it or not. Mm. But watching them fight each other in the lab, I was just like, seriously. I was surprised that lab like wasn't. Mo- I'm surprised yeah. it wasn't more broken. <laughs> it wasn't Captain America and Iron Man. You know, when they could be at their best, it was them just yelling at each other, and it felt like a middle school brawl. But you know, I think that might have that been is like setting, intentional. That's though. setting up civil war because yeah. that is. There really needed to be. Well, well the civil war is one of the most famous really points in the Marvel along. universe recently. Iron Man so. in the comics was the leader. It doesn't so help that Captain America is a legit. Well, what is it? Captain America is lawful good, and uh, Iron Man is it's chaotic, chaotic good. Yeah. And the, the, it's two flavors that don't mix well together. Because no, they both be, think yeah. they're in the right. <laughs> it's like, they're I both know co- I am right. No, you are not. I am totally right. <laughs> Hi, coppers. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just saying I wished it were done better, because the two of them, when they actually fight, they could have been so much better than what the writers did for the two of them. I don't know. I, was I, honestly, I do like that they did I was that honestly little, surprised like, how much childish. stuff they gave Thor to do. Yeah. Right? Like, like cosmic stuff. Like, that's the thing about bringing Thor into these movies. He's an alien. 
And normally they just kind of gloss over that, but no, this time they're like, ugh. They they pretty much they were recognized. Ve- there's that like he was this an alien. scene where uh, Scarlet Witch messes with most of the Avengers' heads, although Hawkeye not because he's like, no, mind controlled, been there, not doing it again. <laughs> he did show off his amazing leaf flexes. Yeah. Right. Oh well, yeah. But um, yeah, and there were a couple moments where he like spotted things from a million miles away, and the and the show and they didn't draw any attention to it. He just did it. A lot mm-hmm. of people's headcanon show him as deaf. So I have a friend of mine who's really into the Avengers online fandom, and a lot of headcanons he's actually deaf. That's how he can see as far as he can. That's stupid. <laughs> no, but you know what? That that's makes not. That's not how deaf sense. works. Because technically, whenever you no, lose it's how one blind sense, works. yeah, but you. Ideally, s- but there is a there's happen. a limit to how far your eyes can so, improve. So, say Shield got his hands on him, and they kind of did a little bit like tweaking just, of I that. I just kind of like the idea that he it. had really good eyesight. It's an interesting headcanon, and it also adds disability characters into. We've already, a very we've all, we've already got Daredevil. <laughs> Yeah, but, um, um, Daredevil this was actually blind. before Daredevil, the Netflix TV show. I These know, but Daredevil is so good. I, I binged it. it. took me three days. Is it's it so good, good? I think I might actually watch it's it. It's really good. What are they on? Very series? big back catalog. Netflix? I'll get to it yeah, later. what series are they on? <laughs> They're just, they've only done season one. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can just one. get started right at the beginning. Anyway, I was going to say there's a bit where Scarlet Witch messes with the heads, and we cut to, we cut to Black Widow's backstory, and we cut to, like... Uh, Captain America having like a 1950s style flashback and we're cutting to Thor doing all sorts of cosmic orgy stuff in his head. Yeah. All of these things are happening at the same time and I'm like this is why I love them mixing characters like this because none of these things should be in the same movie but they totally are and work. We got to see the Red Room. Oh and uh, Idris Elba. Idris Elba oh, got it. I know. It was I love the, him. I adore him. I just he's love that wonderful. he's getting a paycheck. <laughs> but he looked CG. I, I didn't recognize him as Idris Elba. I was like, is that? That has to be. I did not recognize him at all. I know. Right? The black guy with the weird eyes. He's an amazing actor. The guy actor. who was yelling at Thor in his dream. That's Idris oh, Elba. Or, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Heimerdahl, fun fact for anyone who doesn't know, is more powerful than Odin. Mm-hmm. That's why he guards the gate. He's the first. eternal seer. But he just sits there doing nothing. <laughs> He's the eternal seer. Because who's going to tell him to do uh, anything else? Biggest not a surprise ever inside of Loki's spear was the Mind Stone. So that's four stones accounted for of six, apparently. Four? Yeah. yeah, the Tesseract. The red one, the, the blue red. one. The Tesseract, the Aether, yeah. the one from Guardians of the Galaxy. The purple the one. And you know what? The, yeah. You know what? As far as the Avengers are concerned, the purple one hasn't been accounted for. That is an entirely separate movie universe unaccounted for to them but right now. It to, but they took have. the Aether to the Collector, so okay. they must have known he had something that blew up his office. And he probably told him, hey, hey, I got here. No, that must have happened. Oh, like, okay, no, no, but, no, we're not going to open this but I, Okay, but yeah, okay, so yeah, it's possible that Thor can find it out, but he doesn't know now. He does, though. He said I, four. Oh, shit, yeah. He, uh, I mean, granted, he, uh, he, granted, he, he, granted he had a vision. Exist. He knows that they're out there. I don't know if he 100% knows that he's encountered. Yeah, he said they encountered four. Yeah, I but think that, that is a bit of a plot hole really because other two. he knows about the one well, that the Guardians from the second have. Thor movie, the, the red one. The ether is the second first one. Yeah, so it's a blue, red, um, purple, purple, and yellow. Yellow. But there are two more. It's more. Mm-hmm. Of Those are completely unaccounted for. Like they haven't even appeared as like Easter eggs in movies yet. Yeah, but I'm wondering like what colors they are or something. One's orange, orange, and I think and black. Black. Or yes, white, I want to say black. Tell us if you black know. is the death one, isn't it? Uh, I, I know orange is definitely one of them. One of them is the one that lets Deadpool do whatever the hell the he wants. Stone. Might it, can, wait, like, could it possibly be green? What? No, 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 I'm no, thinking no, uh, Green Lantern's yeah, different time, universe. There is one time, I think there's one time, one death, one mind, one, I want to say heart and soul. And By your powers combined. I am Captain Planet. What is the Tesseract? The Tesseract's blue. Well, yeah, but what does it what, represent? What does it represent? I'm pretty sure the His red knowledge? one. Knowledge? 
Maybe. Because blue actually. is often associated with knowledge. I like that the red Yeah, and you know, every person that gets touched with that has some sort of like. Epiphany. Well, okay, so Loki, uh, uh, Thor story. kind of wanders into like a pool of water, and this was like really brushed over. I, I get the feeling know. we were missing some scenes there, but he gets like a vision, and they do like do the checklist, so maybe that's where he saw the purple one. But if I was Thor, I would have been asking the question. Okay, so I saw the purple one. Where the fuck is the purple one? <laughs> well, but they haven't met up with Guardians of the Galaxy yet. That's supposed to be in the Keyword, next movie. yet. They will totally well, no, do uh, that. They obviously, they do. It's in the comics. It's going to be so cool. fucking cool. But, um, <laughs> I'm he said that in every world there's an inverse, a mirror image yeah, in every other world. Yeah, but that was like so a throwaway line. I th mm -hmm. No, I, I actually think it connects to something in Celtic mythology because he was in London. There's always like a forever not that there's no beginning, there's no ending. Getting a bit metaphysical in well, here. Remember, Thor punched a lot of robots. Well, remember, <laughs> um, Thor so did Hulk. Oh, oh, we we forgot Mother about Vision. Vision. We've been talking about the Mind Stone this whole time. Vision, a character I know basically nothing about, but he's basically a robot with skin he's an organic. made of vibranium. He's a really cool, but he doesn't look. I don't know. I, you he know what? Really I, fake I did. He was like, CG'd I, I, a I lot. I know. <laughs> but, like, I could definitely see the CG. Like, he when you look CG. in your... She, she, she I knows. Know. She meant it was painfully obvious, like, Wolverine's claws. So, yeah. like, And it, I feel like even Wolverine's claws, like, once they're out... Usually it looks like CG. he's holding a thing. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. Just It was, it just was, like, skin and, and it just kind of... You know what? I dug the cape look for him. Like, so far, Thor's been the only one to go with the cape, and Vision makes it work. And I, you know what? I get why most heroes on film don't go with the cape. The cape is a hard look to pull off. And as Incredibles showed, it's also not particularly safe or practical. <laughs> <laughs> oh you know, Strato girl sucked into a jet engine. <laughs> you know, I Dead. do agree. That is I awful. I thought all of the CG in this movie looked very obvious. I thought Hulk looked atrocious. He Which is weird, weird because this was, he was running around breaking stuff. He was this weird shade of green. Like, he wasn't like... I do remember the mm. CG being a lot more seamless in the first event. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. But I think they had to use it so much to kind that of That is true. Like, the yeah, they had a bigger budget, you could tell. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, there was a lot of stuff. Oh, you could definitely tell that they were having fun making this movie. Mm -hmm. They had so much fun. Well, it's kind of hard not to when you have... Oh, and Vision has, like, forehead laser. There's, like, this great moment where they get, like, the uh, Ultron robot, or one of the, like, main Ultron yeah, robots. Yeah, Iron Man with both his <laughs> glass, Thor and with his hammer, and Vision with his head. <laughs> just made me think of that bit in Dragon Ball Z when they're, like, blasting Cell with, like, everybody, and he's just like... And we've entered the nerdiest part of this conversation. No, Vision's the nerdiest part. Dragon Ball Z is way less obscure than Vision. <laughs> I will say that the Scarlet Witch, the CG was pretty seamless on her. Yeah, no, her yeah, effect was neat. Really well. the, the, like, the I don't like over. what they did after, well, when she flipped out. After a certain moment, I'm not going to mention because... Well, okay. Too much of a We've already Wait, called we've spoilers. Already. I'm not going to do it. Quicksilver is introduced in this movie and dies in this movie. And it, but you know Supposedly. what? Supposedly. They, they, are, they are twins. And so if you've ever like looked at like psychology between twins, they are supposed to have this like connection. Now, No, then, no, I know all about that. Like, well, so I think she that just knew he died because she's reading everyone's minds. Well, no, like, I think that it's partly like, because he's the Having only other back. person that... Dude, I know how they're going to bring him back. Why does he have to be brought back? I, I that cheapens no. death. That cheapens no. death. No, 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 she can open you mean portals like Dragon Ball Z ultimate does? Realities. Yeah. That's like her she's ultimate She's going to open a portal though. and she's going to bring it him out back. In her next, like, in the next movie. Or, I, like, you know what? Like okay. the end credit to the next the movie. The one thing that I would be fine with the movies not bringing from the comic book universe is how much people refuse to stay fucking dead. And I think that's going to be how they get around the actor problem. Once an actor, like, gets too old, doesn't want to do the movie anymore, demands too much money, they'll just be like, all right, do one more, and we kill you. And they stay dead because for them to come back to life would involve getting that same actor. So I, I'm praying that in the movie universe, at least, 
People stay fucking dead. Had <laughs> that a is point. a bad habit comics have. But Green <laughs> had a point. They got into that hole with X Men, with uh, Cyclops and Jean Grey. Yeah. And they had to bring them back in the biggest reboot in the same franchise. Oh, yeah. They just like, here's the reboot button, but keep everything the way it is. Yeah. We lo because we love Logan and Professor X and Magneto way too much to ditch them. So many cop-out kills in that movie. Damn you, Fox Studios. I love Fox Studios, though, for that. Storm. I still no, haven't Storm, quite finished that. Bishop, Magneto, cop-out kills. Well, bad, bad writing. Let's not even Shame talk, on let's you. Let's not even talk about cop-out kills. How about poor old Nightcrawler just being written out of existence? He <laughs> never like ever shows up. But the funniest thing is, is I always seem to remember... I never, like, knew that he was, like, a circus character. Like, I oh, yeah. didn't read the X-Men. Do you know who no, his mommy no. is? Not... Yeah, in the comics, it's Mystique. Because uh, yeah, she, she watched the animated series. Oh, so like, doesn't Magneto also, like, experiment on him, and that's why he becomes, like, really No, Magneto experimented on his twin children. Which is why I kind of wanted. Like, I would I knew this say was that no. that's very out of character for Magneto. Not really. Very out of character. I, I kind of wanted so Ian McKellen, even though I know they can't do this legally, but I kind of wanted him to show up and go, "I know I experimented on them first, but Hydra, they're my kids." Sorry. Oh, um, they're cleaning up the Shield Hydra mess at the beginning of mm -hmm. the movie. Which was a nice little nod to, like, the fact that the world's greatest spy agency turned out to be completely corrupted by evil Nazi scientists as a computer of magnetic Sikaya. tape. <laughs> Hail Hydra! No, I work for S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, well, then you're unemployed. Because, <laughs> yeah. uh, they disbanded. Uh, but yeah. Oh, um, My biggest issue um Nick Fury's in this movie. For, like, Thank two God. minutes. Maybe, you know what, he's Not nearly he's enough Nick Fury. Probably the optimum time. So yeah. When the team is falling apart, he can go in and piece them back together. Kind of like what he did in the first movie. He except gives them a martyr. Except in the first movie, he was kind of a dick about it. This time, he was very legit about it. He's just like, look, you guys need to figure this out because you're all we've got. I'm going to go find a helicarrier. I found a helicarrier. <laughs> <laughs> Zordon only the power fortress isn't being blown up. Mm -hmm. Um. This time. God, I'm it's, it's, it's a fun... It, it's got its really clever lines. Yeah, um, I really Wish dug the. Has um, always been one of my favorite characters, but when she flipped out after Quicksilver, I mean, they could have extended that know. scene I and just... had it a lot better because. Oh, he he wasn't upset that she freaked out. He wanted more. Uh, no, I was <laughs> say what? Gets pissed off. She's more dangerous than the Hulk. I Not as unstoppable, that, but a lot more dangerous. Hulk versus she Hulkbuster. Can do Almost whatever she wants. Hulk versus Hulkbuster was fun and funny, but ultimately kind of pointless. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was just they kind just of filler the, they needed. They just it was the filler. Fans to scream. Oh, and don't, and don't, and don't get me wrong. It was filler that made sense in story because, go to yes, sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go his, sleep, go to sleep. his mind had been screwed with by Scarlet <laughs> Witch, and the, and the Hulk is the last person it. you want to have your mind screwed with. Yeah. Like right as but, um, yeah, this is a really fun movie. I think it's one of the best ones Marvel has done. Like, they're getting better at this. I don't know. I have very, very, very mixed feelings She is about very this, much in, like, tune with the shipper community who are going to be so well, pissed okay, about Hawkeye. But I study fan culture, and this is something I study. And I'm very attuned to see yeah and i'm actually very curious to see the internet reaction especially the fact that she's a civilian and not someone like mockingjay who is his canonical love interest in a lot of the comics and actually here's a character that got completely remember um uh, what was it the granddaughter of the captain america's girlfriend from the yes yes she wasn't yes. in this they barely had her. They like slyly wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, I did. I did like the new times. guy at the computer desk who was like. <laughs> you mean the guy not playing Galaga? Yeah, the guy just sucking <laughs> at his job. Who was replaced by the police officer playing solitaire? <laughs> Quicksilver runs and evacuate the city. Go back to playing solitaire. Quicksilver comes back. 
AK-47. Get off your asses! AK-47 in the police station. See, Quicksilver's accent also sounded fakey, but he worked it better than Elizabeth Olsen did. And you know what? I don't blame her. It was just the character she had to play. I liked her, though. She wasn't as bad as I thought she was going to be. The writing, no. the character, not the actress. I thought it was actually better than I was expecting. I'm, was st expecting I'm still a fan of Elizabeth Olsen. I don't feel like this was the best showcase for her skills. I thought I feel like it'll be better. Well, than I'm just gonna next be one. happy no. that she did a passable job as Scarlet Witch, yeah. an actual good job, actually. But I mean, um, I'm still not happy with the way Marvel's doing things when it comes to her. But then again, one of my they, they are I'm gonna have high standards. They are they are being uh, hamstringed a little by but not having Magneto as her father. Like they they had to basically give her an entirely new backstory. Again, they gave her entirely new powers, new powers though. though. They did mess up. A little bit. Well, to be on. fair, her powers have always been sort of wishy-washy, generally magic. Her powers and are chaos. Generally magic. So she was still <laughs> doing chaos. It wasn't yeah. like that changed. Like, uh, and also, this is like the first time she's really using them in a big on scale like this. So yeah. obviously, she's. I mean, the first time. We, I mean, the first time we saw them, they were being experimented on by Hydra. So yeah, it's not like they've had a lot of time to grow into those powers. Um, Quicksilver was good. Uh, he was honestly done better in the X Men Days of Future Past. I disagree. I thought he was not 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 the character. I meant the power. Oh, yeah. you're right. The, the way the way his power was done was I, better. I in didn't that like movie. the the teenage angsty weird Days of Future Past Quicksilver. Also, the good. fact that in Days of Future Past still, it's like... the '70s and he has fucking headphones. Oh, Beats by Dr. Dre somehow got into a Marvel movie. Nike. <laughs> Adidas, I think it was, but... I thought it was Nike. Like, oh, it was whatever. some shoe company. It was cool, though, how he opens, and in the Avengers, where he has no locker, where he can put his own stuff, there are magically, what, six pairs of identical running shoes waiting for him? Oh. I feel like it he took cool, those though. with him. <laughs> it was cool. I don't care. It um, looked amazing. It, Gotta have that support. It, it's it's one of the better Mar it's one of the better Marvel movies. It really is. I mean, yeah, first wave Marvel before Avengers was like they were finding their stride, but after Avengers, this is still one of the better ones they've made. I think I liked Captain America two better than this, but this was pretty good. That was still as just like as an action Marvel movie goes. I would definitely go with either this or Captain America 2. My favorite is Guardians of the Galaxy, but, but yeah, just, yeah, I mean, just because I, I just... I love comedy over everything else. Yeah, so Guardians exactly. Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be my go-to out of the Marvel films. Speaking of previews, Jurassic World, Chris Pratt is looking... Like, this was a slightly different trailer. Like, a, mm -hmm. there's more stuff. No song. Yeah, actually. Yeah, the Jurassic no Park theme song. It better be in that movie, Spielberg. It is. It was in all the other previews. And I was going... But Chris what? Pratt is looking good in Jurassic World. And, yes... He's commanding he, Pet Velociraptor. He is, like... He's like, yeah, they listen to me because they know who fucking feeds them. <laughs> and They're not Wong dogs. These are dinosaurs that can kill you. B.D. Wong is back in it. B.D. Wong. I oh, love the Asian that. Guy. Yeah. He was in the first film. Oh, yeah, that oh, guy. No. That guy. Yeah, that... Yeah, the first. Me. He was uh, in the first like, film. I did not hear you. Was... Who did he play again? He was the guy. He was the doctor. The, the Asian the guy who was doing the eggs. Yeah. yeah, the one that was like, oh. Oh, wait, no. The only Asian there guy in the entire film. There are women there. <laughs> oh, wait. Your frogs can change. Oops. We might have messed up on that yeah, one. No, how does the random arc paleontologist know that, but the special trained scientists don't? I'm going to quote the nostalgia critics joke here. Spared no expense. <laughs> Spared too much expense. Oh, Alex. Um, what were Remember the Remember when ones? they were loading people onto the transports? Yeah. Boomer will live. Oh, <laughs> so, um, new commercial for Tomorrowland. Um, Which is actually looking good right about I'm now. I'm actually getting less psyched for it. It looks like it's going to be a good child's movie. But yeah, really good child there's, action there's adventure. There's not going to be I feel like there's really not going to be much like meat to it. It's I kind of dug it action. more when it was I'm just, just this girl it's not finding remind the me too much of Jupiter Ascending. The Eiffel Tower is apparently a rocket. I, I, I dug it more when it was that sort of artsy, uh, vague preview where yeah. she finds the pin and gets transported. And I, I, I was, I was kind of digging the idea that it'd be a slower paced movie, but this trailer was all about like being chased by robots with like super tech. You know my problem with it. I feel like a, the closer it comes to coming out, we might get a better insight to it. 
Yeah. I do like that George Clooney's good here. I have never been now, imp- I have never been impressed by George Clooney. Really? Never. I have a few times. I mean granted I've I'm never not overly fond of him, but Ocean series, he was good in that. He was no, 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 never no, gotten no. to see Monuments any of those. Men. He was Great. I didn't see Monument. I've never he, seen yeah, Brother yeah. Where Art Thou. That's like his I big one. I didn't like that movie. Um, but I've never had the chance to see any of the o- Ocean's movies. Oh, they're on our DVO, uh, 11 and 13, the only good ones. Um, but remember her when we saw her and we couldn't remember Ben I Affleck's didn't, I character's didn't see name? Her. Uh, not her. Um, go- La- Gone, Gone Girl. Gone Girl, yes. And we couldn't remember Ben Affleck's character. Because name. we kept calling him Ben Affleck because he was on screen and we're like, hi, Ben Affleck. I <laughs> feel the same way looking at George Clooney in I, The Tomorrowland. I, it can't he's gonna do a good job as Batman. Don't George worry. Clooney. Ben Affleck's got I think it, he'll be. Oh, like that good. isn't that odd. George Clooney, Ben Affleck, Batman? That's a weird connection. Yeah, ben but Affleck you also have is to Batman and Tim Burton was involved movie. for a time, well, so. No, I'm just saying, I think it's funny that we were discussing them and they're both they're Batman. They're both Batman. I, you're right. Um, so, <laughs> now, that's Ant-Man. one character that goes through Ant-Man. a lot. Of I'm Ant Man. Yeah, Batman has been through a lot of actors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four. You got Clooney, Keaton, five, Adam West six. In the old days, I'm up Val to Kilmer. six. Christian Bale and now Ben Affleck. I'm up to so six if we only. Voice actors. No, animated? God, if we count uh, no. voice actors, we go up to like eight or nine. Uh, you only eight or nine? You Thanks. got it. You got eight. No, nine. Well, the guy who played him in the Batman the Animated Series has done him a lot. Kevin Conroy, he was him in the Arkham games. I mean, yeah, they couldn't get uh, Mark Hamill to do the Joker all the time, but he often agreed okay. to be the Batman. Well, Mark Hamill couldn't can't do the voice anymore. It's too rough on his throat at his age. Well, so, speaking of but hey, he's movies, coming back to Star Wars. Ant Man, um, still looking good. We did not get the line. Is it too late to change the name? However, we did get the line. I know, I know. I didn't choose it. <laughs> didn't choose the name. Yeah, he Ant-Man. looks at the bad guy. I'm Ant Man. The bad guy just stares at him. I know, I know. No, my favorite part of that is still when they're fighting on the Thomas the Tank Engine playset. That is so fucking funny. (laughs) We are fighting for the fate of the world. Choo choo, Thomas! How terrifying would that be to see at that size? And then, (laughs) and then, and then they pull back and it crashes. It's so funny. Uh, and it's uh, not like a crash. Literally, the toy train just falls off the track. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing happens. So what does it say about Fantastic Four that we didn't get a commercial for the Fantastic Four film? If anything, that Disney... The mo- that the project's about to be scrapped entirely? Because no, they they've already made up. the movie. What, that they reshot it for the third time? They've already made the movie. It's coming yeah, out. Yeah, but they redid it, like, twice. <laughs> then it's not... You know, I, you you know what? Messing it up Actually, I feel bad... Because the guy who's directing it is a, a director who did Chronicle, and uh, I don't know if any of you saw Chronicle. Chronicle was actually really good. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it was limited in its budget and scope, but it was really good. And I wish this guy could go on to do other things, but if this Fantastic Four movie ends up killing his career, I'm going to be like, no! <laughs> could be worse. Yeah, it could be like what happened to Chris O'Donnell and Batman and Robin. Way more. Remake yeah. It. Way more than they wanted you to. You guys think wow. we're going to get another Infinity Stone in Fantastic Four? I'm hoping not, but... I doubt it. Fantastic Four is not being Fantastic Four yeah. isn't that closely related with the Avengers. I yeah. know, but if they're trying to fold it into their big universe... Fox owns Fantastic Four. Oh, they do? Yeah. I thought... Yeah. yeah. Oh. Fox has X-Men and Fantastic Four. Oh, I thought they were planning... I heard somewhere that they were planning on using these Fantastic Four... In um, with the next Avengers movie, but I guess my source was mistaken. Your source was way out. Spider-Man is most likely going to show up. I really hope he doesn't. No, no, he's going to be in Civil War. I really hope he's not. That's confirmed. He's in Civil War. I really hope he's not because that was Sony America. Because Spider-Man's Spider-Man's part in the Civil War comics was stupid. It's practically 100% confirmed. Now, what no one knows is if Robert Downey Jr. is going to be in it, so we get the iconic scene of him standing over Cap. Anyway, last commercial, if it can even be called a commercial, was Star Wars. Same trailer. Like, same yeah, trailer they've the been playing for months. It, it was just, what twenty seconds? 
That's it. Who they, cares? They're, we they're, saw that awesome lightsaber. There again. has been a new trailer, but I haven't seen it. Like, there's a new trailer floating around that shows Harrison Ford and Chewbacca and I some other stuff. I refuse to watch it. Yeah, I've actually been making a point of not tracking down trailers like or looking up like stuff on movies online lately. I'm just trying to go in as blind as possible. Like, I heard that someone died in this movie. I assumed it was Hawkeye, but no. So, I just how I think I it feels think better if I don't know about too much about the movie. Like, I didn't look up reviews. I didn't look at Rotten Tomatoes. I'm going to check out a whole bunch of reviews now that I've seen the movie to compare, but... BuzzFeed has an interesting article about Hawkeye that was sent to me. I didn't read it, but something about now he's important. Do you oh, shit. That's a new one. I'm running out of storage. So I, I, need, I, need, I need to go back in and clean out some uh, footage. I've been holding on to too many. <laughs> We've got four minutes of I footage left. I still need to left. get my Ichibob panel off your camera. Yeah, you deleted we, it. I shouldn't have deleted it. But, um, yeah, okay, um... Bye. We Bye. love you all. Yeah, we have to get this short. <laughs> Go see the movie.